So I've been getting back into salvaging in my Vulture of late, primarily to earn enough money to buy the Mercury Star Runner, which I have recently, thank you for asking. And while it may not be the fastest of all money making methods, it's certainly up there amongst my favourites, and the Vulture is just a lot of fun to fly and salvage with. Toby Gaming were kind enough to send me the Eye Tracker 5 and I've been using it to keep my head on a swivel so to speak while trawling the vastness of space but also it adds a touch of immersion and brings my industrial gameplay to the next level. And so with all of that at my disposal I set out to make as much money as I could. Citizens, my name's Beard of Oz and today I'll be talking about salvage again. I'll be covering some things you might already know and perhaps some things that you don't. This video isn't sponsored but I've been having so much fun with the Toby Eye Tracker 5 that I'll be talking about that and how it has improved my gaming experience while salvaging. If you enjoy this video or learn anything by the end I'd appreciate you letting me know by hitting that like button and if you've watched some of my videos before but haven't subscribed yet I hope this video is the one that earns that coveted click. I also stream on Twitch, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Alright, let's dive in. So if you're new to salvage or star citizen in general, I'll go over the dot points so what I talk about in this video makes sense. Salvage is a profession within star citizen that has finally seen the beginning stages introduced with the arrival of 3.18. Currently the full gamut of salvage isn't implemented with only hull scraping and the faintest touch of component salvage being in the game. Hull scraping is the collection of the surface layer of a ship's hull via the scraper beams on a Drake Vulture or an Aegis Reclaimer, or if you're really looking to waste your time, the Cambio attachment for your Grey Cat multi-tool. The resulting commodity is known as Recycled Material Composite, or RMC for short. This can be sold at the Trade Development Division or No Questions Asked Terminals around Stanton, though the No Questions Asked Terminals will pay you less, more on that later. The component and weapon salvage is a recent addition with 3.19 alongside the beginnings of the tractor beam update. Currently ship weapons of up to size 6 can be removed from vehicles that are either soft deathed or have had their ship ports unlocked and sold at corresponding shops or attached to your own vehicle so long as it has the same sized hard points. Components can also be collected from ships though the number of ships they can currently be taken from is dismally low as the very few vessels that have had their components physicalized and until many older ships have received a pass it shall remain as such. Some non-player ships now have cargo in their holds. At the time of making this video those ships are limited to vessels included in the salvage missions with the likelihood being randomly generated, as well as AI pirates that have interdicted you while quantum jumping between locations within a planetary system. It has been stated that this shall extend to more vessels going forward including pirates from Bounty and Beacon missions, so keep an eye out for that in coming updates. The salvage missions introduced in 3.19 have generated a lot of interest since their arrival and have also undergone some changes as well. Though originally marketed towards those that had pledged for the Vulture with real money as it is currently still not available to purchase in game, the inclusion of possible valuable cargo has made it more popular for anyone with the money and time to roll the proverbial dice. Three modes to speak of, illegal, illegal and lawless, a buy-in of anywhere between 1,000 and 150,000 Alpha UEC is required to gain the location or rights to an out of commission vessel or vessels. For those with a vulture or reclaimer, you can then scrape the hull of the vessel as well as take the weapons off that vessel to sell. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, the scraping of ships is a slow process, not gaining a great deal of RMC for the time and money invested in this venture, and the sell values of the ship's weapons has been reduced so violently that unless you want the guns to put on your own ship, it is hardly worth it. Sadly, you cannot store these weapons either, and as mentioned before, components are currently not even accessible in the ships that spin up in these missions. The only real value in these salvage missions is the possibility of illicit cargo spawning in the ship with some commodities being valued at 220,000 Alpha UEC per SCU. However, with the coming of 3.19.1, many of these commodities are being removed or scaled, so we may find these missions to be even less desirable in the future. As I mentioned, the salvaging of ships is currently a slow and tedious process, with the rate of transfer and RMC gained having been modified, presumably to discourage players from simply salvaging their own ships to make a buck. The result has many players foregoing ship salvage completely and pushing for panel salvage instead. 
these clusters of panels are typically found around Lagrange points in the Aran Halo and I've found of late the rings around Yella in the Crusader system. Recently, the signature signals that used to appear while scanning haven't been working properly, where once you could tell from a distance when the scan showed a signal divisible by 2000. With that being the case, searching for salvage has required you to troll. Traveling through these signature areas and once getting within 2000 meters of them, if they are indeed panels, the icon appearing in your HUD. Many players have complained that this feature is broken and as a result salvage is unplayable. Personally, I prefer it this way as it actually feels like you have to search and not just lazily scan about for your prize. Of late, I've been searching Yella's rings for clusters of panels and the results have been more than good. With clusters of up to 12 pieces, often having at least two or more of these big boy panels that scrape around seven and a half crates of RMC, the going has been good. So much so that I've modified the way I normally run salvage. Currently, RMC sells for roughly 7.7k Alpha UEC per SCU at the Trade Development Division, which is quite good for a commodity that you didn't have to buy into. However, the travel time included to then go sell at one of these planetary locations not only cuts into your scraping time, but is also quite tedious. Now, some players like to backspace, spin up a cargo ship and go towards their death marker, loading up with more than the 20 SCU that their vulture can conceivably carry. Which is fine, if that's your jam, go right ahead. However, it's not for me. Currently, I have two ways that I like to navigate around the situation, because when I say that the ring has a lot of salvage, I mean it. The first way is to grab myself one of these crates from a delivery mission. I like to take the missions out of Gundo because they aren't currently attached to a reputation and failing or abandoning them has no negative effect. When you have the mission active, the crate has a distance marker. There you go, an improvised map marker. Sadly, you can't jump to it, but it's better than nothing. This way, if you fill up on RMC, but still have more panels to scrape, you can throw the crate into the black, go and sell your cargo and return. Now I like to sell at Grim Hex at the moment at the no questions asked terminal in the admin office. It's not going to make as much as the TDD, but it's still pretty good and a slightly better sell price than the junkyards. The other way is to involve your friends. Have them come and pick up your RMC and sell it for you. At the time of making this video, you currently cannot sell RMC that isn't yours at the TDD. So they're still going to have to sell it at a no questions asked terminal. Still, it's a fun activity to group up on and you can determine the cut between each other. I usually go 50-50 because scraping panels is painfully easy and again, there's lots of salvage to be had. So, like I mentioned and you've likely seen from the footage, I've been using the Toby Eye Tracker 5 lately and it's made my gameplay just so much more immersive. It certainly helps in a ship that has a wider field of view too, like the Vulture or if you're into mining, the Prospector. It's been great during dogfighting but I don't do that a great deal so it's nice to see that it can be utilized for more than just that. You can also use it while on foot, but I've got it turned off for that, it's just a personal choice really. The ability to move your head in game or even just shift your view with the movement of your eyes is invaluable, as many ships have their targeting MFD below the preset eye line, and even though you can change the orientation of displays in the game, the moment you leave the seat, they revert and CIG still hasn't done anything about this. Come on guys, where's this persistence? So just having that small quality of life change has made me enjoy flying just that much more. You can also use the eye tracking to switch between different targeting markers, whether in combat or just industrial use. If you'd like to know more, I've put a link in the description below. And if you'd like to grab one for yourself, use my code to get 5% off at checkout. And there you have it. That's what I've been getting up to in Star Citizen lately. Have you been getting into the salvage gameplay loop of late or just gambling on the salvage cargo? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video or learned something of value, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. If you'd like to go one step further in supporting the channel, you can now become a member today for just $1. I also stream on Twitch. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Be sure to check out this video here, YouTube thinks it's right up your alley. As always, citizens, stay safe in the verse, and I'll catch you all next time.